Cool. Hold on. Oh, Sedge. Butterfly Garden Project. Texas is a butterfly garden I built for a local elementary school. It was my Eagle Scout project. I love wow. local butterfly. I love the local butterfly population. I recently had back surgery. Students sent me get well cards that had butterflies. Aww. Cute. Hope to inspire young kids. New reviewer, have enjoyed the stream. That's so nice. Thank you so much for sharing. Good for you. This is a sick Eagle Scout project. I love that. Osage is an Eagle Scout, guys. We're uh, amidst greatness here. That's amazing. Thank you. Pet sitting for a coworker. Oh, God. Second time pet sitting Teddy when my coworker is out of town. Beautiful creature, but he's so goddamn loud. I don't know why he keeps screaming. Maybe he doesn't like me. <laughs> he also knows how to say fuck, which is especially fun during my tutoring sessions over Zoom. Dude. Aw, fun. Have fun with them, bread loops. Thank you. Dude. That's, uh, that's tough. Best of luck. We'll pray for you. That's tough. Going to the lake. I take my dog to the lake close to where I live a couple times a week. We always see birds. When we go at night, we see beavers that slap their tails on the water and they scare her. No! Great blue heron. Oh, she's- that was a- That's a beautiful dog. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh no. Noah, your dog is beautiful. Guess the dog's name. Radish. Her name's Maya, really? Wicked. We're probably related. Wildlife Rehab Center in Italy, Fairy. Oh, we talked to Fairy. I've always loved animals. I have seven dogs, but watching your stream and learning about conservation made me want to do something. So I started volunteering at a wildlife rehab center and now I'm considering changing my whole career path because I fell in love with it. Jeez. Basic besides doing releases, they also have unreleasable animals. The Barbary macaques were confiscated from people who had them as pets, so they have psychological issues. One of them has a self-harm problem, but they're safe and happy now. Here are some pictures of the animals. Second picture is a 42-year-old blue-fronted Amazon like Siren, and I'm hoping to teach her at least one Taylor Swift song. Fairy, that is so cool. I'm so glad that you found that. I hope you keep loving it. Oh, yeah, he looks pissed. Uh, Native, thank you for the Twitch Prime. Wow. Wow. Maya looks like Squeaks today. Guys, I was talking to Squeaks at the bar, and he told me when he graduated college, and I was like, oh, bro, that was the year I graduated high school. He got so mad. <laughs> He was like, why would you say that? Like, why would you bring that up? And I was like, well, I thought I was making conversation. <laughs> Inspector Bacon, thank you for the 48 months. Um, burrowing Owl Relocation, uh, Aiden. I'm a high schooler from Arizona and I want to share some adorable burrowing owl photos. Every year we save hundreds from habitat loss. Our team works with local farmers to take these owls and relocate them to farms as a free form of pest control. Oh. I'm collaborating with them to write an updated research paper. Remind me about that. Um, on our experiences with owl relocation and the most critical factors to success. I feel so grateful that I can work to help these animals. Thank you so much for inspiring me and for your hard work. Thank you for your hard work. Are you kidding? What the heck? That's amazing. Very, oh. <laughs> Very cool stuff, Aiden. Thank you so much for sharing. Guys, you know how... Did you know that Elvis, you, okay, the, um, the parrot animal quest where we took all those poles and we were engaging in a research study with Columbia University, their Department of Ecology and Evolutionary Biology. Two years we've been working on this project. The manuscript has been completed. Completed. And it has been sent off to Twitch for approval because we took, uh, we used a lot of data from Twitch and so they have to review it. But once Twitch reviews and approves it, then it'll be published. Anyway, yeah. Uh, so very, very exciting. I'm, I'm stoked about that. Um, it, the, so the paper itself, let me read you, I'll read you the title. It's a doozy, but it's actually cool because Alveus is, Alveus is, <laughs> I'm a little biased, but Alveus is really important. <laughs> Um, because it, uh, 
It's pioneering conservation education. Conservation education is a global effort. Conservation is a global effort, you know? And thank you for the 15 months. And I so strongly believe in the ambassador model and getting people to care about conservation in the first place. And I so strongly believe in virtual education because of the reach that you can have. Um, and the permanence that you can have, the fact that it's like recorded and it's online and people can access it online. It's so accessible. You're reaching so many more people at once and it's just so much more efficient. Um, and I think that it's genuinely a massive key uh, to conservation because the more people that know about it, the more people that can engage in it, uh, the better off we're going to be. <laughs> and so it's it's like a big deal. And Alveus having the platform that it does, me having the platform that I do, um, and it, it's like us we literally you guys as well because you're here all the time is pioneering a new model of conservation education that genuinely if adopted by a bunch of people could be world changing right it's huge the title is influence of animal ambassadors on viewership engagement willingness to pay and learning outcomes of conservation education on twitch cool we're really making you know guys we're really making waves <laughs> But I'm uh, listed as an author on this paper. I'm cited as an author on a paper with Columbia University. What the frick? Shrez, thank you for the 21 months. Ranger, thank you. You guys want to hear the abstract? A little bit of it? Just a tidbit? You might get a little bored. It's a little dense. Susie, thank you for the 15 months. Um... Conservation education develops pro-environmental attitudes, but increasing knowledge of biodiversity alone is often not enough to drive behavioral change in support of diversity of biodiversity conservation. Practitioners need to effectively engage the public in non-traditional informal educational settings to go beyond conventional information deficit or fear-based models of conservation communication. Influencers live streaming conservation content in the social media space present a particularly interesting case with unique lessons for conservation education and communication, particularly when it comes to the use of animal ambassadors. And then it goes on, but I won't read the whole thing. But very cool, very exciting. I'm really, really excited about this. Um, no way I'm actually getting engagement from Keemstar right now. <laughs> Palin, thank you for the 28 months. That's crazy. I'm gonna be honest, I spent a while being like, I should like reply to this or like ratio it or like say something funny or like, you know, come at him for like being a pedophile or whatever people normally come at him for. Um, but then I was like, he loves it. So I just didn't. <laughs> Mick, more read. Oh, that one's cute. Micro photography from PJ. Is this PJ Web or is this a different PJ? Oh, this is cute. Cool. Cool, thank you. Chunky potato rabbit. Not me, okay. Um, it's Mercer. This is my potato of a French lop rabbit, Finn. He's 15 pounds. Finn has no cage. He's litter trained and gets into literally everything. He can jump onto the kitchen counter via parkour. <laughs> he also knows tricks. Oh my god. Bonus snail from the gut. Oh this looks like a stuffed animal. This does not look real. Oh, surprise. Dude, he's massive. He's big. French lops are the... Are they the second largest rabbit breed? It goes, Fle I think it goes Flemish giant, checkered giant, French lop, English lop. <laughs> Little did you guys know, I'm a rabbit nerd. Hungarian giant Brit- Oh my god, I'm stupid. What the hell are these? No. This is what I said. Okay, hold on. Fact checking. Flemish giant. Continental giant. I've never heard of that. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. I don't know what that is. Here is French lop. This is what she has. Don't know what that is. Checker giant. I said that one. So, you know, we're on a roll here. Don't know what that is. Okay, great. We did really good. I feel good about that. Number one victory royale. Yeah, Fortnite, we about to get down. Ten kills on the board right now.
just wiped out Tomato Town. Smash! My friend just got down. I revived him. Now we're heading southbound. Now we're in the Pleasant Park Street. Look at the map. Go to the Marshy.